Hey everyone, welcome to another look back at my favorites, um, the Where Are They Now series. If you are new, I do have a bunch of new subscribers. Hello, thank you for coming. Um, if you're not familiar with this concept, every month I do a monthly favorites and I've never skipped a month and it'll be eight years in July that I've been doing this. And what I've started doing at least the last couple of years, I think, is I go back in time, two years, sometimes four years, now we're gonna just do two years and revisit the favorites from the same month two years ago and see where they are and what's going on. Lately, I've also tried to recreate the makeup and the outfit that I'm wearing and I did that as you will see if you look at the thumbnail. So let's get on with it. I've printed out my description box from May 2016. I'm gonna just run through it all. In 2016, I started with some follow-ups. So I'm gonna follow up on the follow-ups. The first thing I talked about was the Luma RX hair removal system and I am happy to report that two years later, I'm still using it. In fact, it reminded me that it's time to do a little touch up. What this um, system does, it's a heavy duty, like at home kind of, um, I'm gonna describe it wrong. It's, it's a laser, but it's not a laser. You know, it's that little zap, zap, zap thing. This heavy duty one is made for not, I think it has a face attachment, but it's really for the body. That's what I use it for, my legs, my bikini area. And like any of these devices, including the ones that you pay big bucks for to go to um, an office and have done to you, you do have to touch up. Nothing, there's no permanent hair removal in any scenario, but this has severely lessened the grow back and what does grow back is very, very fine and easily shavable and then not seen to the naked eye basically. So. Very, very happy um, with this and glad that it is still working for me two years later. Another um, follow-up from May 2016 were these guys. This is the Guerlain Meteorite, the little pearls. And the reality is I still have them because I cannot part with this. I mean, this was really expensive and it's really pretty to look at, but it's and it has a lovely finish, but it's really impractical to use. These little balls get everywhere. They get stuck in your brush kind of a pain. So what I've been using instead, because this is just not working for me, is a recent find and it is from Hourglass. I actually saw Lisa J Makeup touching up her makeup with this at the Rewards Style Conference and I thought, this is genius. It is the Hourglass Ambient Light and Luminous Light and you can see there's some warmth to it. It doesn't really impart a color per se, but it does warm me up. Now Lisa J has a little more olive skin tone than I do and it works really well on her, but on me, it just gives this little tinge of warmth. I have it on now. Um, and so it just kind of takes a little edge off the paleness. I love it. And it gives that luminous um, sheen that these do too. Let's get on to the favorites from May 2016. So the first thing were a pair of shoes, which I'm happy to tell you. And if you've been watching all of my I don't want to call them fashion videos. Let's call them outfits of the day videos, like what I'm wearing videos. You will have seen these a lot. And one of you, I think you wrote on Instagram, wow, I've never seen a pair of shoes match a skin tone so well. Yep, this is pretty much, yeah. Anyway, I love these. These are the, um, these are Jimmy Choo nude patent leather pumps. Now you don't have to get Jimmy Choo ones, but I highly recommend a pointed toe pump and the um, Sam Edelman makes a very, very similar concept, quite a bit less expensive. So if you don't have one of those in your collection, I don't mean the Jimmy Choo, I mean just a nude patent leather pump with a pointed toe, go out and get one because you will not regret that purchase. Everyone needs a pair of those in their closet. I got this for Mother's Day in 2016 and you should know that I love it still. It is the Rebecca Minkoff um, Reagan satchel bag. The shade is putty. Um, it is still available the last time I checked, so I'll link that below. The only addition to it, as you've seen ad nauseum, is this guitar strap that I found on Amazon of all places. They make other ones, but I wanted a perfect match to this bag and, and I wanted a flat embroidery, nothing with dimension to it. So I found this bit on Amazon. It does come with a crossover strap that, that um, you know, matches all this leather, but um, I like a wider strap. And then the other thing that I got for, um, I believe I got it for Mother's Day as well, or maybe, did I buy it in a sale? It came up in May of 2016. I don't know how it got here. Um, I know I bought it, but I can't remember why. Um, is this little guy who's so cute. This is the Rebecca Minkoff Micro Moto Satchel. And I kind, I didn't forget that I had it. 
let me be perfectly honest. For most people, this is plenty of room for a purse. My problem is with an iPhone 7 Plus and a vlogging camera everywhere I go, there's no room for anything else in here. So that is a big old excuse, but it's true. But I'm gonna bring her back out because she's so cute. I mean, it's just so cute. Then I talked about a book series that I love, still love it, the Midnight Texas uh, mystery series by Charlene, Charlene Harris of um, Suki Stackhouse fame, the Louisiana Vampire series, True Blood. Um, and then they ruined the series by turning it into a TV series. So my advice, skip the TV series. If you haven't read the Midnight Texas series, give that a go. I will link the first book in the description box below. And then a TV show that I loved, and what did they do? They canceled it on me. So I don't even know if you can find it on Netflix or whatever. In fact, don't even bother watching it because it's canceled and there's no resolution to what goes on with the main characters. It was Rosewood, and I loved it, and they canceled it. This one causes me great pain. I mean, you know, in perspective, we're talking about makeup. I raved about a lipstick, not a lipstick pencil, like a lipstick crayon, and it was from Lipstick Queen, and it was in the shade Daphne, and it was the most miracle, miraculous, beautiful shade of red pink I've ever seen. In fact, I literally stopped a saleswoman in Ulta and said, what is on your lips? I need to buy it. And I did. And that's what it was. That's, it's very, very similar in color to this. This is not it. I have torn my house up looking for this. I don't know if in the great purge that I did over winter break that I accidentally purged it. I have no idea. It's highly likely it will just magically turn up as soon as I finish recording this video. But in any case, I went and found almost an exact dupe from what I can see on the screen, and it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Gloss in Aphrodite's Kiss. It's this beautiful red pink. It just makes me look better. I am exhausted. I've not had great sleep. I'm still fighting off these weird allergies. I had a weird nightmare woke me up in the middle of the night, like about a home invasion. I don't know. It's very creepy. If you don't want to, if you want to play with a color like this and it's kind of scary for you and it's out of your comfort zone, get the L'Oreal version because it's far less expensive than the Lipstick Queen. However, I miss that Lipstick Queen. I'm, if I can't find it, I may be making another trip to Ulta or just who are we kidding? I'll place an order online because there are a lot of other things I want to get from Ulta. There always is. Let's talk about nail polish. The nail polish favorite from 2016 was Orly Frolic. I have no idea if this is still available. They have a tendency to discontinue my favorite colors. If it still is, I will link that below as well. Um, I have looked through my entire collection and I don't have anything close to this to recommend to you. Uh, next time I'm getting my nails done, I think I'm reaching for this. It's so pretty. Another beauty favorite from May 2016 that I still have, but honestly rarely reached for, is this Instaglam highlighter from Rodeal. Um, this was gifted to me, and it was it's very much a luxury highlighter. It's a beautiful <sighs> mid-tone highlighter, I'd say. It's not so, so subtle, but it's not crazy you know, in your face, bam, cheekbone. It's like the, it's like the middle bear. It's like the just right. But, um, and I love the packaging. It has this, uh, I think it's faux leather, but it has like this leather case and, and it's really heavy. I did drop it at one point and it stood up to that and it didn't shatter. So there's something to be said about it. But what I have found myself reaching for that is much, it's very comparable in the finish and what I have on today is the new um, Cali Glow Highlighter from Persona Cosmetics and I have it in the shade Laguna. And it's a very similar, you know, it doesn't, they don't really look similar, but I assure you that they are on the skin. That's the thing with highlighters. Once you put it on your face, there's not a lot of variation. Um, anyway, I really, really like the Persona one. It is also much more affordable than the Rodeal option. So if you haven't tried out the Personas, they have three shades. This is the fairest shade, of course, but there's also, I think, Zuma and Delmar. I can't remember which one is which. So if you're darker toned than me, there are two other options for you. And then a concealer that I still have. Now, has it gone bad? It doesn't smell bad. So I'm gonna go with no. Um, it's the Dermablend Professional Smooth Liquid Camo Medium Coverage Concealer. It's quite a mouthful. I have it in the shade Biscuit. I also have it in the shade Nutmeg for when I'm tan. And I am wearing it today on my facial area, blemishes, not under eye. This is very comparable to the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I feel like it stays on even longer. It's 
it's Dermablend, but it's not heavy. It's it has a doe foot applicator. It just goes on in the like thin liquidy consistency that all concealers in this kind of packaging do, and it blends beautifully. I have some huge honking zits on my face. Looking in the monitor, can't see them. So this stuff really works. Love it. Then I talked about a video that I had very much admired from Tati. It was this huge drugstore guide and I recreated the makeup that she wore in that video and they're still favorites and I still wear them so I wanted to show it to you. I left yet another product sitting on my bathroom vanity but at this point I don't want to get up and refocus the camera. Um, it, it You started off with the Maybelline um, bronze tattoo, what is it? It's the mal, it's, <sighs> We're gonna get some sleep, girl. Okay, it is, remember the Maybelline color tattoos in the pot? Well, this one was the stick form. It's the crayon that you just literally draw on your eyelid and I have it in the shade. Do I have it here? I do not. Bronze tattoo. So I put that down on my lid all the way up into my socket and I took a synthetic brush and kind of blended it out and I still, I wore it in the 2016 video. I'm wearing it today. Then over that, gosh, I've had this forever. These are just so amazing. They're the L'Oreal Infallible um, pressed eyeshadows in Amber Rush. And if you're unfamiliar, it looks like this. It's so pretty. And I have that on the lid all the way up to the crease. And then I can't remember what Tati used, but for my matte shadow, I used and still have the Physician's Formula um, Matte Collection Quad Eyeshadow in Classic Nudes. And I just um, blended out my crease with this shade and then did my brow bone with this shade. And I still love them and they are very old and they're still just fine and wonderful. But I wanted to show you another drugstore palette that I adore. Um, I still can't find it online and I think it's still priced better in store. So go to Walmart. It's the Milani Most Love Mats. You've heard me talk about, look at all these options. I mean, come on, this is kind of amazing. Look at all of these. That was it. But I am going to mention the earrings that I had on because I have them on right now. These are from Bobble Bar. They're the Celestial Earrings. I have worn these to so many major events. Um, and the nice thing is now they've become a Bobble Bar classic, which means I don't think they're ever gonna discontinue these. I wear them just for casual going out kind of thing. Like I'm gonna go out to lunch after this, but I've also worn these to with a ball gown. So, you know, you can never, these just are very, they're not heavy. I know it looks like my ears are Drooping, I think they're just drooping. That's just what they do, but there you go. And then this t-shirt I had ordered from Joe Fresh two years ago and it is not holding up. It's starting to pill a little bit, but considering I paid like, I don't know, $9 for it, I think I got my money's worth. If anyone knows somewhere where you can get a navy striped tee where the it's predominantly navy with white, thinner white stripes, please let me know because I've been looking everywhere. I found some that are close, but not quite. Um, Castellan at Nordstrom has one that I'm eyeing, but I just really like sort of this cut of the sleeve. And anyway, I digress. So there you go. Those were my 2016 favorites. Many of them still happily around in 2018. Please let me know if you were around for the original. I will link it at the end of this video and down in the description box. Again, if you are new here, I hope you've enjoyed this look back for everyone. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.